Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World channel. Please allow me to inspire you once more about breeding of this goldfish. Because the breeding of the goldfish is very exciting and if you are a hobbyist, I know that you can empathize what I'm talking about. Because these goldfish are called goldfish because they are all-time favorite. And just last week, I was able to acquire some imported lines from Thailand. And I'm so happy because these imported lines are big breeds. And they are the show type that we can even compete to international competition. And I hope to condition them and put them in a spawning tank and be able to produce their offsprings for our future business. You know, the business of selling goldfish is one of the most lucrative endeavors that you can engage as a fish keeper. You can earn a lot of money out of breeding this fish. Come on, let me tour you to the boxes that we have uh, made for our goldfish. And I can say that this is one of the best uh, boxes for goldfish that I have ever made because we just use light materials and the system that you will see now are really very helpful for our goldfish. I was first known on YouTube being a goldfish breeder and other types of fish. This uh, Japanese koi, betas, and guppies. And this is where I got my support from you guys. And I'm so happy because those of you who are fish lovers did not hesitate to subscribe to this channel in order for you to gain more tips out of the practical experience that I have um, over the past uh, years. And right now, I will let you see that I have here this uh, imported orandas. And I like this one because they have beautiful tails and they have a beautiful body conformation. They have short body and their heads are really beautiful, especially if you are going to put this inside in the aquarium. And as you will note, this tank is quite special. I especially made this for the breeder goldfish and this is the conditioning tank. In your conditioning tank, you have to provide good filtration system. And as what you can see here, there are outlets of water that is always dripping 24 hours. This is the kind of system that we have adapted here. This water actually came from the filter bucket and this has passed through the filter media and this is already clean. And all the dirt that are here in this box will float and flow in the pipes that we have put in the middle and then it goes down and passes through the filter media that we have put in right there. Maybe you will ask, Dexter, what's the best filter media? Well, I use some nets, I use some ceramic rings, and many others. You can also use some recycled materials such as mosquito nets and this charcoal. And you can also use the live plants. But of course, the live plants should have a separate bucket. If you really want to take care of your plants, it cannot be mixed along with these uh, rings and this net. So what you can see here are orandas that are already pregnant. I made a separation. These are all males and all here are females. And I expect that next month we're gonna be able to spawn them and they're gonna be producing more babies because we already have tried this one and 
the, these lines really are good. And over there is also a red caps and other kinds of press. Many people have asked me, Dexter, how to breed your goldfish? Well, to breed our goldfish, we have to prepare three separate tanks. Number one is the conditioning tank. And as what you can see over there, our conditioning tank has filtration and it has good water system. And we are exposing this to the sunlight. And what is good about exposing the goldfish, especially the breeders to the sunlight, is the fact that they can immediately store eggs in their bodies. If you have high protein food like this uh, worms, you can also give that to your goldfish. And in fact, giving live food, especially the clean ones, will immediately let our female goldfish have eggs in the belly. And this is what we are doing actually here. Another box or another tank that we needed is the spawning tank. As you can see over here, we're so busy preparing our spawning tank because the moment that I can see that the belly is already due for breeding, I will transfer those breeders to the spawning tank. And you can see our spawning tank right here. So guys, you can see here five different boxes and this is a measurement of 38 by 60 inches. We have here 38 inches and the width of this is 60 inches and this is the ideal spawning tank for the goldfish because uh, goldfish will lay their eggs in a shallow water the shallow water will help us monitor their babies and the development of their eggs if we can spot fungus then we will apply some medications and we can learn actually by our mistakes when we are going to have the spawning tank smaller and you will note that I use a white tarp for the spawning tank. The reason for this is for us to be able to monitor the development of the eggs. Because these eggs sometimes are being eaten up by the insects or it will not hatch because of the bacteria. And we have many medications about how to protect our eggs. And number one is this antibiotic. But I would like to of course discuss that in a separate video because that's also very delicate because if you're gonna put more antibiotic that would also kill our eggs so this is actually a very delicate uh, process that we have to learn from our experience let me share with you that the moment we can hatch the eggs of our goldfish in this uh, particular breeding tank, we will wait until 10 days before we're going to transfer all the baby fries over there. So this is the tank for the fry. And let me share with you the specifications of this fry tank. This is uh, intended for our fry because immediately if this goldfish eggs will be hatched immediately we have to make an effort to transfer them in a separate tank like this this is bigger and you will note that we don't put the inlet pipes because that's not anymore needed in the fry tank and then we will wait for another one month before we're gonna transfer them to the mud pan well if you have a mud pan, you will really have a good chance to earn big income because the goldfish will grow very fast, double growth when you are going to put them in the mud pan. So I'm very positive about this and maybe you will ask Dexter what happened to your lettuce. Well, I decided to use this small greenhouse for lettuce and in the coming months, I'm going to uh, call for an expert about the fabrication or the making of this uh, greenhouse that's already made of steel and that's my plan and we're gonna transfer the location over there I will still have to look for a good location but for the meantime we will use this uh, portion for breeding of our goldfish I know that the pandemic is over i would like to say that since the pandemic is over now we can maximize the business by means of selling the good quality goldfish 
because the people are already able to visit and come to the pet store one place to another and be inspired and you know buy this aquarium for their kids and this is actually the part of life if you are really into you know pet care well carrying this uh, types of fish inside the house or maybe outside the house in your garden is a part of life it gives us joy it gives us peace and it gives us satisfaction to make this uh, area here an entertaining one because you will see the parakeets over here and in fact you can hear the chirping of these parakeets and this uh, chirping of the parakeets sometimes gives us some relaxation because it's beautiful to hear it's beautiful to observe them they're carefree they're happy birds and you can see over here they're already laying their eggs we already have uh, installed the hanging clay pots and I hope this will work. That's why I said that we have to still study about the hanging clay pots, if this is gonna work. Well, we will put some more. And I am so amazed how these uh, small birds are able to enter into the holes without this uh, perch. You will see over here that we have made some excavation. And this excavation is intended for the tank of our breeder Japanese koi. Well, this breeder Japanese koi needs to be monitored as well because they're gonna be fed more than the usual feeding in order for them to develop their eggs inside. And the frequent water change is needed, especially if you are uh, feeding more frequent foods to the breeder goldfish and even this Japanese koi. Well, we have to monitor their conditions because there are many factors that would somehow um, damage the fish when they're being fed and they're very full and there is a power interruption. Well, that would be immediately addressed. That's why we have to place that in a way that it can easily be monitored, it can easily be checked. And uh, I have uh, staff that are really doing much effort in you know, looking after the welfare of our breeder fish and uh, this will ensure us that we're gonna succeed in our business of, you know, breeding this uh, ornamental fish. So guys, you have just witnessed that we have added some 2,000 heads of this Japanese koi 
and I'm very satisfied with the growth of this koi because they are fast growing and their health is really perfect they have no issues about you know gill flukes or whatever disease on their bodies and this what makes the mud pond very effective and suitable for growing out of whatever kind of fish because this mud pond has many nutrients that are available in the bottom of this and the fish can just eat this they have the algae we have the worms and even this mosquito larva these are the food the natural food that can grow our fish so rapidly well the selling of the juveniles of this japanese koi is also very fast because it's cheaper compared to the big ones that you are going to sell and you have to wait for five to six months i made a covenant with you when i started this youtube channel those of you who are pioneers to this channel i made a covenant with you and i hope that you can still recall that in this channel we're gonna be sharing with you the honest to goodness experiences about breeding all these types of animals and we have so many videos about breeding this uh, chickens we have quails we have ducks we have these rabbits we have this fish different types of fish the birds and many others we've been sharing with you our ups and downs the do's and don'ts the experiences good and bad and i hope that out of our channel or out of the videos that you can view to our channel it will inspire you to also try this one and be able to earn an income or have a living out of this hobby and i hope that you will still be with me as we gonna journey to another projects we have this lettuce farm in the future we're gonna have another location for our farm and these are the things that we wanted to accomplish i am so much thankful to those ones who have decided to become members of this channel thanks a lot for your support and even to our subscribers we have new subscribers every day welcome to the big family of the experience to the people who have made comments in the comment section they are educating us with your you know your experiences as well i'm so grateful and very happy to hear and even read all your comments so guys i hope that i can see you in my next video and please be with me as we continue in this life's journey only here at dexter's world